Hi, I'm Lance Schrader, Customer Technology Specialist out of our Marysville location. And I'm glad that you can join me as I go over many planner settings. If you have any questions after these videos, please contact your local landmark location. In this video, we're going to talk about 1790 and 1795 settings. The first one I want to go over, if you have a 32 row, is changing the hits position when you go to 15 inch rows. We want to loosen that nut, back this pin out, and switch over here. What that offset does is it gets our planter back centered since we have an extra row on the left side. If you have like a 23 row or a 31 row, we don't have to do that. On split row planters, there are a few things that we need to remove when going from 30 inch rows to 15 inch rows. We need to remove the cap that was here for our seed delivery. We also need to remove the plug for our vacuum that was here. So it looks like this for 15 inch rows. When going back to 30 inch rows, we want to reinsert those components. Another tip or trick that we might use when planting in 15 inch rows and using the rear rank is setting this depth on the rear rank a little bit deeper than the front rank due to the fact that we don't have as much weight here in the rear rank as we do on the front rank. That way both ranks will be planting at the correct depth. Another thing that I like to have operators do when changing from 30 inch rows to 15 inch rows is changing our work point measurement or offset. So in 30 inch rows, we're measuring to our seed delivery point right about here. And when enabling the 15 inch rows, as these rows are paired together, I like to split the difference between our seed delivery points. So on the 30 inch, it was here on the rear rank, so you can see delivery points here. So I like to measure probably about half the distance, but that's probably about somewhere right in here to optimize our section control when turning on and turning off. When locking up this rear rank for storage position, we want to use our long blocks or spacers. When we're planting on 30 inch rows, we want to use our short ones and put them in here and make sure our pin is latched because we have to unfold the rear rank first before we can unfold the planner. On the rear set of rows, on the rear rank, when going from 30 inch to 15 inch rows, we need to lower these manually. So right now, this is in the position for the 30 inch rows where I have this spring tensioner underneath this bar. To switch it to 15 inch rows, I have to switch this here, put it in the slot, and then come back here have my bar lift up and let, let it down. One thing that you periodically want to do, especially if you have a lot of ditches, is make sure that after you go through that ditch that for some reason this planter row unit doesn't actually lock back up in its position. The spring is supposed to hold it, but I have seen before where it does lock the rear row units up. Once I have my bar, I'll take and hook it on the parallel arm up top there, as well as underneath, and I can use it as leverage to raise it or lower it as needed. The bar that we use to lower or raise the rear set of row units on a split row planter is found here on the right side of our planter. You can lift it up and pull it out of its storage position. After raising or lowering the row units according to what you need for your configuration to put away the row unit leverage bar and make sure that it's latched, we want to slide it in here in between this bracket and the front of our tube, turn it over and latch it in there just like that. So this holds that bar from sliding out and that way we don't lose it. 
Now I want to go over some screen operations for 1790 and 1795 planners with Seedstar 2 or Seedstar XP. First thing to note, if I come to button G on the planner page, is my row configuration. No matter if I'm planting on 30 inch rows or using the rear rank and planting on 15 inch rows, the row configuration will always be split row. Do not ever change that. Where we tell it how many rows are planting is here in button H. Find the rows planting box and we can tell it that either our split row is being used or just our corn rows or 30 inch rows. Another couple things I want to note is that we need to enable our rear rank downforce and ride quality sensors if we switch to planting with the rear ranks as well as the front ranks. So to do that, we'll come to button G in the top right, then we'll go to sensor, and in our drop down list, we'll find downforce. Now on the 1790 and 95 planners, they will have five sensors if you have the Seedstar XP and sensors two and four will be the rear rank so we need to go to sensor two and make sure that it's enabled as well as sensor four and make sure that it's enabled and then I want to go to the ride quality and do the same make sure that it's enabled on sensors two and four. In order to supply air to the back ranks, we have to come back up here to button F for the first time when switching to the split using the rear rank. And we'll have to come actually to our downforce and disable our active pneumatic downforce system and then, when, if the planter's in the ground and the compressor's running, we can touch our target downforce. And we just have to either increase or decrease by a certain increment. And go ahead and hit the arrow to the right. And then it should supply air to the back rank. Once that's done, we can enable the active pneumatic downforce system and work in margin like we normally do. If you have a split row planner that does not have active pneumatic downforce system, you still have to go through the same process of increasing or decreasing with the planter, the ground, and air in the tank or with a compressor running.